Jesus is the Christ. This is the gospel of the Bible. I've been sharing about that continuously. It's what the apostle preached, what the early church preached, and it's also the purpose of the Bible. According to John chapter 20, 31, it's absolutely important to know and believe Jesus as the Christ. In John 17, 3, it said, Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Knowing is eternal life, that's what the verse said. More precisely, knowing God and His Son is eternal life. Judging from this verse, we can understand how important it is to know Jesus Christ. That's why we've been exploring the meaning of Jesus being Christ, trying to understand deeply. It's very important. Why did the Christ come to the earth? Why did God send the Christ? Christ came to solve problems that mankind faces and to rescue men from the fatal state they are in. There are numerous problems in our life, but all of them are tracked back to Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 3, Satan suddenly existed before the fall of man. Due to the deception of Satan, mankind sinned, and as a result of the sin, mankind was separated from God in the end. All problems uh, originate from here. For example, in Genesis chapter 3, from verse 16 to 24. The source of all the symptoms we have is the separation from God, sin, and Satan. Ironically, mankind has no ability to fix this fatal problem. No man can beat Satan. No man can be free from sin. People cannot remove their own sin and the sin of others. Or are in the midst of a state where they can't find God and reach Him on their own effort. All problems of life emerge from the mansion state which cannot be resolved by man's effort. Therefore, God promised Messiah. What can you know more about this fundamental problem? How can we understand them? Through this and next video, I will take about Satan, the next two consecutive video will deal with the sin and the next two will explore more about the separation from God. I pray that God will allow His grace to open our eyes more. There are so much to say about Satan and it's difficult to cover all the contents within the short period of time. One thing for sure is that he certainly exists. I will go through a few general facts about Satan. Ezekiel 28, 12, 15 used a metaphor of the king of Tyrus to describe Satan. The verse portrays Satan as a perfect model, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. When he was created, the workmanship of tablet and pipes was prepared. He was anointed as a guardian shrub. The shrub is regarded in traditional Christian uh, angel, angel, angelology as an angel of the second to the hierarchy. In a nutshell, you can understand that Satan was an angel in charge of praise, or one of the archangels uh, with outstanding ability and wisdom. He was also an extremely beautiful being. In Isaiah, 14, 12, uh, 15, he said, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nation. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heaven, I will raise my throne above the star of God, I will sit and throne on the mount of assembly. On the utmost height of Mount Japan, I will ascend above top of the crowd. I will make myself like a most high, but you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depth of the pit. Due to his 
pride and desire to turn against God. Satan rebel against God. He can find the trace of the story in Revelation 12. How Satan dragged one third of the star of the sky, that is to say, one third of an angel. Satan was powerful enough to corrupt one third of an angel and put them under him. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 describes Satan as the ruler of the kingdom of the air. He is a great dragon and ancient serpent. He possesses the tremendous wisdom and power. He especially attacked the part that are related to the music. The Bible describes Satan as the evil one. In John 8 44, Jesus said, You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lie, he speak his native language, for he is a liar and the father of a lie. He was a murderer from the beginning and liar. That's how the Bible pictured him. First John 5 19 said, We know that we are children of God and that the whole world is under the control of the evil ones. Satan is the wicked one. He is a murderer, a liar, and wicked one. Revelation 12 9 said, The great dragon was hauled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who lead the whole world astray. He was hauled to the earth, and his angel with him. He deceived the whole world so far. So far, I talk about two things. Satan has tremendous power and ability, and at the same time, he is overly wicked. This Satan is described as the king of the world in uh, John 12, 31, and John 16, 11, and also as the god of this age in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, Satan with his great power and evil character rule of the world as the king of the world and god of the, this age. He even dared to test Jesus. In Matthew 4, 8, 9, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the whole world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. That's how he tested Jesus. He's working as the king of this world and the god of this way. The one who deceived the whole world is now reigning over the world, starting from politics and authority. This is the general idea about Satan. Uh, next video, uh, I will deal with more about Satan in depth.